Hey, this is Bob from Fire Mountain Outdoors. You're watching Big Gunner 81 on YouTube. And one of the more popular items we have here is the ZK22. Uh, I developed, started developing this project in about 2007, got it into production around 2012 and been constantly tweaking it. And this is the last and uh, the latest generation here. That's awesome. So it's a bullpup conversion for the Ruger 1022. It's fully ambi, very comfortable. The reason this thing came about was the P90. Uh, really cool that I want to get one. I ended up getting a P90 and realizing how the gun was. The bullpup concept is brilliant. I love it move weight back here, get the ballistic advantage of a full-length barrel, it's compact, get the size of an SBR without having to worry about the tax stand. Right. But the ergonomics have always been terrible. The P90, you're jammed up like this, and it feels like you're a Tyrannosaurus Rex, T-Rex mm -hmm. running around doing it. So, worked with some engineers, got some ideas, sketching things out, and the end result is this EK22. Fully ambi, safety, charging that is neat. So a full rail across the top. And be here, you can do an over the thumb grip like this or a through the hole grip like this. It's set up for shooters of any size. Four year old niece to your 50 year old grandpa and uncle that's six foot eight, massive, just yeti sized dude can still shoot this. Uh, we developed it with one of the most tough and durable polymers in the fire engine industry. Uh, it was utilized in a couple other areas, but we're the first to primarily use this for chassis manufacturer like this. We've driven trucks over, we've dropped it from buildings, we were done burnouts on it. And it just, it just holds up. So does rail sections come with it? And like just one rail section or two? Right or now, it's, it's we just have the mounting. These brass lugs are okay. molded in. It allows you the choice for if you want metal rails or polymer rails. Yeah. Later, we will be offering our own rail section. Uh, right now, we're, we're concentrating on just getting the, the bull pup fully back into production. Some of the changes, some of the Ruger 1020 much more pronounced lit here. They were having trouble on those with the charging handle jumping out and it would make the charging handle sluggish. We've modified that, so there's no issues with that. The mag release is much easier. We redesigned it to the old style mag release. Uh, the safety is much more positive and a little bit lighter. The, this safety, you're not going to get one of those false starts where you go, you want to pull the trigger, and the safety's on. You know the safety's on when you put your finger in it. You can get your finger in there, you know the safety's on. Right. Now, are there any limitations on the magazines for what kind of options are out there? I mean, I'm not, I haven't had a 1022 myself yet, so... There are so many choices of magazines these days. This will accept almost all of the standard aftermarket magazines. One of the latest ones we're using now, I really like it, is the HC Mags. Now this one's with the stripper clips. Okay. Well, it's got a little bit stiffer spring than any other mag, and it runs great in our machine gun. Our machine gun's running north of 2,000 rounds a minute, so all the other magazines just can't keep up. Uh, the AC mag fits just fine. Uh, we have to have a modified side dump, dump stud, which we, we offer on the website. The BX25 fits. Even a BX10 fits, so if you're in California or somewhere else, you can get yeah. one that fits it. Uh, you gotta extract a 10 rounder, just bump it, falls right in your hand, put it away, grab the next one, and just kinda inject it like that in your magazine bin. So it's a bull pup, it's still gonna be friendly to use with those 10 rounders. The gun is a, it's a 22, so it's kinda like a flanking gun, squirrel hunting gun, something like that. But it's, it, it's, yeah, uh, if you can find ammo these days. It's still a little tough, it's more out there. But the gun was developed as a combat PDW idea, so we could get the ergonomics, get the size, get the design right. Because we're in production, we're in the development of a 9mm submachine gun. I was just going to ask that, if you're going to develop any other calibers for the type of style. It's going to be a full, it's going to be a full NATO Aquas based 9mm operating system, and the overall concept of the ergonomics and, and the design of the ZK. Very cool. Well, again, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. No problem. Um, yeah, we'll talk to you again. Big Gunner 81.